Hello, thanks again for watching Sibelius Tutorials. In our last video of this series, we explained how to install East-West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra sound set into your Sibelius hidden folders. This video explains how to use East-West Quantum Leap sounds in a pre-existing score. Here, I have a score that comes installed with Sibelius called String Quintet that normally plays back using the Sibelius sounds. What we're going to do is use the East-West Quantum Leap sounds instead of the Sibelius sounds. When adding and using East-West Quantum Leap sounds in an existing score, the first step is to import the house styles that comes with your sound set. The house style is what helps us install the custom instrument staves, playback dictionary, and other settings that are needed to use the East-West Quantum Leap library in Sibelius. Once the house styles are imported, we now have the custom instrument staves we can load. Let's make sure that each instrument stave is using a custom stave your sound set comes with with your house style. The easiest way to do this is by selecting the entire instrument by triple clicking and using Sibelius's Change Instrument. Let's start with Violin 1. In this window, we need to select the instrument that we want to change to. To see our custom instrument staves, make sure to click the Choose From dropdown and select your East-West Quantum Leap instruments. When you do this, notice your instrument selections changed. We are trying to make sure to load a single violin, so I'm going to drop down strings and choose solo violin. Please go ahead and change the rest of the instruments to the East-West Quantum Leap staves, just as we explained with this first instrument. Once all of your instrument staves are changed to the East-West Quantum Leap staves, we now need to set up the East-West Quantum Leap playback configuration. Select the play ribbon and over to the left in the ribbon, click the small arrow in the lower right corner below configuration mixer and this will bring us to playback devices. In here, load the configuration that came with your sound set. If your sound set did not come with one, please see our tutorial on creating manual sound sets. Once the playback configuration is loaded, Notice that under Active Devices, we have multiple instances of play already created. Each instance corresponds with certain East-West Quantum Leap sounds. Click on Manual Sound Sets to see how these are organized. Looking at Instance 1 of play, this works with solo woodwind instruments, Instance 2, Ensemble Woodwinds, Play Instance 3, Solo Brass, Play Instance 4, Ensemble Brass, Play Instant 5, Percussion, Play Instant 6, Solo Strings, and our last instance, Ensemble Strings, which is 7. Since the score is working with solo string instruments, let's focus on Play Instant 6. This sound set also comes with patches, which makes it convenient to load the Play Engine sounds for each instance you need. To view the Play Engine, Click on Show, which shows the Play Engine for whatever instance is selected. Notice how no sounds are loaded yet. One way to load the patches is in the Play Engine. Click on the main menu button in the upper left corner and select Open. I already have my patches right here with my sounds, so I'm going to go ahead and load them from here instead. If your sound set did not come with patches, you will need to load the sounds manually. Notice there are two solo strings. The light version does not have as many articulations and is easier on the processing. I want all the articulations available, so let's choose solo strings. When all the sounds load from this patch, the sounds loaded will match up with the manual sound set programs as shown here. You can test the manual sound sets by selecting each manual sound set created and clicking test.
If you are following along, you should be getting playback when testing. After testing, you're all set. Now, let's go back in our score and let's play it back with the East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra sounds. Thanks again for tuning in to Sibelius Tutorials. Be sure to like and subscribe to get updates anytime new material is released. This is Josh, and I'll see you guys next time.